This is one of my very favorite hammers. This belonged to William Frederick, who died a few years ago. He was one of the members of, uh, artists and members of the Society of American Silversmiths. He died at 91 years of age. And he would tell me about this hammer from time to time. Uh, he ended up with it from uh, Daniel Pedersen, who was the head silversmith at the Kalo shop in Chicago uh, decades and decades ago during the arts and crafts period. And he would tell me about this piece of binding wire, which is right here, that would go up and down the neck, burnishing the neck of the hammer. I thought that that was so cool, and especially that he owned a hammer from a silversmith who got his training in Sweden. So I wanted to have one of his hammers just uh, to remind me of him because he was always a very special person, somewhat of a father figure to me. And after he had passed, I spoke to the, ex to the executor of his estate and I asked him if he could send me uh, a hammer. And what came back was this hammer. Uh, so Bill probably had this in his will uh, to give this to me uh, because I knew uh, I, I liked the story behind it and uh, probably to remind me of him. So this is very special. I haven't used it on any piece yet, but it has its uh, place of honor uh, right there. And um, it just makes me feel honored and uh, reminds me of uh, when we had really nice conversations from time to time.